Uh, the game plan is brought to you by Max Jazz Games, whose game Kung Pooby you could be playing right now. Your gaming week is sort of with Kung Pooby, available now on the iOS App Store. Kung Pooby, uh, already a more successful game than Sonic. Totally. <laughs> Will, give it a shout. It feels good to shout. Ready? Kung Pooby, yeah. Kung Pooby. I love that you still live at home with your parents, and they're like, "What the hell is he doing?" <laughs> <laughs> that I was just pretty normal. To say uh, Nathan. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> yeah. Good. See, there you go. You don't want to anger Gus. Uh, the game plan is where we look at the games that come out this week so you can plan out your week in video games. Let's take a look at what's dropping this week, starting off with Ghosts and Goblins Resurrection coming to PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC on Tuesday, June 1st, taking cues from both Ghosts and Goblins and Ghosts and uh, Ghouls and Ghosts and giving birth to something entirely new. Resurrection is a title worthy of its name. Don't be fooled. This picturesque. Don't be fooled. <laughs> this picturesque storybook world, while gorgeous, is a love letter to the original titles and maintains the same punishing gameplay that fans have come to expect. So go on, test your metal, for the gauntlet has been thrown. Uh, if you aren't into that, maybe uh, Operation Tango tickles your fancy. Come to PlayStation 5, Xbox Series consoles, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC on Tuesday. It takes two to save the world in this cooperative spy adventure. Pair up with a friend as a hacker or agent with only your voices to connect you and work together to bring a high-tech global menace to its knees. Uh, already on its knees. That was a weird transition. Let's just forget I said that one. <laughs> Stonefly. Uh, Coming to PlayStation 5, the Xbox Series consoles, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Switch, and PC on Tuesday. Harness the wind and soar through the wilderness of Stonefly, a chill and tranquil action-adventure game about self-discovery, legacy, and belonging. Glide your mech strategically among beautiful flora and dangerous fauna, confronting, uh, confronting hungry bugs, adventures, and memorable characters. Flora Fauna. Fauna is the animals, right? Uh, yeah. The, all yes, you have okay. to remember yeah. is flora sounds like flowers, and then the other one must be animals. <laughs> <laughs> it's, that's a, more of the, one of the more clunky uh, reminders. <laughs> uh, Elder Scrolls Online Blackwood is coming to Stadia and PC on Tuesday, June 1st. A deal made with the Prince of Destruction comes due in the Elder Scrolls Online Blackwood, part of the Gates of Oblivion adventure. Explore Imperial Cities and Murky Bogs, uncover Mayroon's Dagon's sinister plot and never adventure alone with the new companion system. Uh, speaking of never being alone, World of Warcraft Burning Adventure, uh, Burning Crusade Classic is coming to PC on Tuesday. Prepare for the next adventure in WoW Classic uh, with Burning Crusade on June 1st. Step through the dark portal and return to Outland. Uh, if you don't want to uh, uh, experience a Burning Crusade and instead want to experience uh, burning glutes, then Pro Cycling Manager 2021 on PC is the game for you, coming out Thursday, June 3rd. Manage one of 80 teams in over 260 races and 700 stages from strategy to recruitment. It's up to you to make uh, the best decisions. And also coming out on exactly the same day for PlayStation 5, the Xbox Series consoles, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC is Tour de France 2021. Win the yellow jersey with the official game of the Tour de France 2021. All 21 stages and the biggest classics are included. Experience a new objective system, a redesigned My Tour mode, and other new features. And finally, rounding out the releases for this week, Sniper Ghost Warrior Contracts 2, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC on Friday, June 4th. A modern warfare shooter set in the Middle East, players Raven, Contract, Sniper, Assassin, as you take out a series of targets across a dramatic single-player campaign with extreme long-range shots exceeding 1,000 meters, which is one kilometer. Gear up. I added the one kilometer bit. They didn't clarify that in their blurb. <laughs> uh, gear up for the most challenging entry to the series, yes. Will, you are... Mm -hmm. um, you're not the guest, but you are the, uh, um, the rarer face to be seen on the podcast. Yeah, yes. let's go with or that. Heard. Uh, nice. uh, oh my God, that head. Um, uh, <laughs> what is, what's, what's tickling your game plan this week? I think I'm just going to say, uh, Nifer as the, uh, <laughs> the limits of this text box will let it through. Nifer Ghost Warrior mm -hmm. Contracts. Um, uh, well done. <laughs> purely, purely for that head. Like this looks intense and lovely. And I feel it's like games have been very lovely. soft. I, well, I mean, it's a lovely change-up. I feel like I've been playing, like, bug snacks and stuff like that lately, and this just looks <laughs> like a nice change. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is the lovely change-up. I just feel like I've been playing all these really cute games. I just want to watch yeah. a man's head blow up. <laughs> I haven't seen it. Uh, I haven't seen it, and then it happens. I don't want to see it. <laughs> look at this. Oh, look at that. It's lovely. 
Uh, and I also haven't played any of the like Sniper Elite games, so uh, if this is so like, kind of dropping, this is the, this is Sniper Ghost Warrior, so different different uh, series. Totally. Sniper I, Elite. I just I just haven't seen any slow mo headshots in my life. I haven't played okay. any. So if this is if this is something new that I can get my hands on, I think this Sniper Ghost it looks great. It's so disturbing what we're seeing here for people listening to the podcast is like, yeah, the full uh, heads exploding of, of people you're sniping from over a thousand uh, metres, which yeah. is a kilometre away. And like, it's it's funny how much um, the Sniper Elite series cops, like, I don't want to say they cop flack, but they were, it was highlighted for how violent it was in the sense that you got an x-ray cam when you shot someone, went into slow-mo, followed the bullet, it goes through them like a Mortal Kombat yeah. kind of style yeah. where you'd see the skull and the brain, but you would, you would see basically an uh, anatomical correct model that you would expect to see in a science lab get shattered and while people mm. thought that was confronting it still was kind of there was a detachment from the person who was the skin coating that here we're watching like heads popping like balloons filled with this like and blood and viscera it's like that's far more confronting for me this is the like you're saving private ryan to your action hollywood war film where you see it and you go oh Oh, okay. I guess that's what really happens. And I just I don't understand how the skull explodes, but the goes brain out the stays back. intact <laughs> every time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like look. It might not be actually like as the brain just as- falls <laughs> out of the head. It's always look at that. It's just a brain yeah. falling out of a head every it's in single bits. time. It's a bit. The medulla oblongata goes that way, and whatever the rest of the brain's made up of goes the other way. It's like, <laughs> the yeah, it's part like- of the brain that everybody knows. <laughs> it's like goes in the one head. part of the brain is the medulla oblongata, and the rest is all animals, that's so according funny. to fauna. <laughs> um, yeah, well, I'm with you. I, I actually, I, I love sniping games, so I'm probably going to keep Good. my eye uh, close to this one. But I will mm. say the thing I'm intrigued to work out how they handle in a gameplay uh, feature is that it's often touted, even the gameplay demo that was released is like, you start by by being like a kilometre away as you kill targets and you've got to kill the right one. And it's got very much um, Hitman played around with some sniper style levels yeah. that, were also, uh, that were additional to Hitman 3. But then there was like a mobile only sniper one where it was cool because it was like watching a sandbox and like seeing how it all interacts. But uh, then we're, they're seeing in the trailer as well, there's like, there's melee combat, there's stabbing people in the necks, there's yeah. up close, qu- close quarters combat. Do you have to do all the sniping and then go... <sighs> Step. And take a 1k walk and like walk all the <laughs> yeah. way out to your target through like exposed <laughs> wilderness where you're like, oh my god, I wish I'd just like started there. So I wonder oh, if no. there's some little like fast travel thing because like the, the Ghost Warrior series have been a bit hit and miss, pun intended, where it's like they've been super, they haven't been super realistic, but they've been like uh, stylized, modern, cool sniping for the sake of being cool. Um, whereas, uh, yeah, so I wonder if they're, they're going to use some, like, little gameplay-esque mechanics that mm. just, like, get you around a little faster and make the game more fun and more realistic. So I'm going to play that as well. We can, we can blow heads off together, Will. Uh, Sounds good. I, I wanted to say uh, Stonefly, but I also know that that's a game that I'll play for 20 minutes and then probably bounce off. Um, mm. And... I think my answer is Sniper Ghost Warrior Contracts too. <laughs> <laughs> that it just it does it does feel like uh, like if it if it is what I wanted to be, which is Gus, what you were saying, less of that like walk around and go find everyone and up close melee kills and stuff. But if it's literally just like, can you get in this position and make this shot? Then that's kind of all I want. And if that's just like one part of each level, then I'll just play one part of each level. Sure. Uh, so yeah, but uh, but that's mine as well. So it's the trifecta. We we all fun- all hungry for blood. It's funny because yeah. Stonefly, I want to see for the same 20 minutes to see what the game actually is because getting yeah. from the trailer, it, it kind of looks like uh, like a little bit of a cutesy kind of, uh, I want to say like gliding, what would you, like a, like a flight sim gliding combat game or something when you actually saw some of the gameplay, but the rest of it just looks like a delightful art style. But like, mm. I'm trying to work out what the actual game is. And similarly, there's this beautiful indie-esque looking art style game and then a cool asymmetrical co-op game. And we're both, all three of us are like, I'd like to see a man's head explode, please. Please. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, uh, Just for a so change. That's our, for a change. For a change for Will. Yeah, yeah. It's like for Gus and I, yeah. it's pretty par for the cost. But for Will, he's been he's sick of all that innocence. Um, so that is our game plan. Let us know what is on your game plan. Uh, and you can let us know on the Discord. How do you get access to the Discord? It's totally free to actually just sign up to the Discord in general. But if you want to unlock all those sweet channels, then just head to patreon.com forward slash backpocket or backpocket.gg. And there are links there to get you to the Patreon. Uh, and you can become a member of our wonderful community. Mm-hmm.